So let's talk a little bit about scheduling. So we talked early on in the course about setting your availability. Now, one thing to consider as well, though, is what is scheduling. So you can't obviously back you know, or schedule back-to-back -back appointments unless they literally live you know, next door within two minutes of each other. You need to give yourself time. Um, you know, being a dog walker is one of those things where you could easily say you're gonna walk somebody's dog from 10 a.m. to 10.30. So you get back at 10.30, but now you have to you know, unleash the dogs. Maybe you talk to the person a little bit. Oh, you know, the dogs did great on their walk, etc. You know, so you certainly don't want to schedule yourself for a 10.45 dog walk, you know, 15, 20 minutes away. You're just not going to have time. You really need to allow yourself um, time to breathe in between, give yourself a little break, and as well, make sure you have enough of a buffer for those other things, like you, st you stay and talk to the person after. Or the dogs just take a little bit longer, you know, sometimes that just happens. You know, you walk in the dogs and one decides it's tired and it needs like a little two minute, you know, sit before it uh, keeps walking and I'm talking from experience with my own dogs. You know, so things like that can delay you. So definitely schedule yourself effectively. You don't want to overrun yourself and you'd be much better off in the long run if you uh, can set a schedule that's maybe a bit more spaced out and you meet all your appointments versus you over schedule yourself, you're consistently late, etc. That's just really bad business. So definitely uh, schedule yourself effectively, be honest with yourself about how much time you need in between appointments.